George Romero would be so proud. What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of Army of the Dead. Yes, I had the privilege to see it last night, a week ahead of its Netflix um, debut. Saw it over in my movie theater that's literally right around the corner, less than two miles. It was great. It was fantastic. Loved it so much that even a, a fan showed up at the end. And uh, thank you. I, I totally for <laughs> I'm blanking on the name, but thank you for uh, walking up after movie and uh, saying hi. And we talked a little, chit-chatted a little bit about uh, Army of the Dead, but that was pretty cool. Anyway, so yeah, Army of the Dead. Um, <laughs> you guys saw my first reaction review. I mean, obviously, the movie is bonkers. It's insane. It's just a, a good time at the movies. It's two and a half hours of a heist zombie movie with great characters, great performances. I mean, what else can you ask for? And when it comes to the direction from Mr. Zack Snyder, the fact that he, I mean, this is what I love about Zack Snyder. This is why he's one of my favorite directors is because he tries to approach, it seems like with every movie that he that he does, he tries to do something different. Like, yeah, you could tell you know, there's Zack Snyder-isms that he has, which is always great, but he always tries to do something new with his filmmaking. And when it comes to Army of the Dead, using the dream lens for <laughs> practically all of the, the movie really just adds this kind of aesthetic, this tone. And I'm telling you, seeing it on the big screen is like the way to go. I mean, I would hope that everybody could see it on the big screen. I know that's not a possibility, but I mean, it's just there's something about it when you just you're in this desert, you're in this. I don't know, I guess you could say it, it's a, a wasteland when they're obviously um, inside Las Vegas. And I don't know, it's just there's something that really adds to it. And I'm kind of wondering, too, one of the questions I probably would uh, ask him is, I wonder if it was easier or harder to to uh, incorporate Tignataro, you know, to replace Chris D'Elia. I wonder if uh, it was harder or easier to do it because of, you know, the blurriness and stuff like that. I just wonder about that because, well, I mean, first off, the way that they put Tignataro in there, replacing Chris D'Elia, I mean, it's pretty damn seamless. I, I A lot of the time, just because I knew I was looking for it, maybe like one or two times, I went, oh, yeah, you can kind of see right there, but... That was only because my dumb ass was like literally going, oh, I want to find it. I want to find it because I'm weird like that. And I try to find, you know, those little imperfections. But I mean, it is so, it's so small, so minuscule, just tiny that you don't even, you don't even notice it most of the time. And I thought TIG did great. You know, that big TIG energy as uh, I uh, tweeted out the other day, but um no, but when it comes to the story, uh, and like I said, this is spoiler free. So I'll do a spoiler review sometime this weekend. Um, where, you know, when it comes to the story, I mean, yeah, talk, like I said, George Romero would be so proud. He would be, wow, look at this guy. He just reinvented the zombie genre yet again, because yeah, I mean, obviously it's been compared to other heist movies, specifically Ocean's 11. I think it's mainly Ocean's 11 because, you know, it takes place in Vegas, you know, but, uh, it's not, I wouldn't say like when it comes to, I mean, it's, per, it's, it's elaborate. Like the heist is elaborate when it, when it when it's when they're trying to get into you know the zone the quarantine zone or whatever it's elaborate when it comes to that because there's things that they have to do and there's a person that knows the way and has to do stuff and then when you have all these cast of characters i mean yeah when he talked about escape from new york and aliens being inspirations for this movie oh yeah oh yeah and there's specifically something that i will talk about in my spoiler review where i was like oh yeah that's totally just aliens right there this character just did exactly what a character would would have done in aliens and i was like that's awesome i love that i love the fact and you know like he said he said he's like the there's gonna be the tropius of tropes and he does but it, it it's so stylized it's so zack snyder stylized stylized and it's so it's unique in its way when he does like the the common tropes uh, when it comes to the story. And like I said, the actors did great. Dave Batista, I mean, he's becoming he's becoming that leading man. I mean, I know he's uh I mean he even tweeted about it today where you know he's very he gets insecure about sometimes when he gets criticized about his his acting performances. And you know, some people out there, you know, they're pretty cruel, but it's like 
I don't know. I think he's got more range than Dwayne Johnson. I mean, Dwayne Johnson kind of just, we like him. He's likable, he, but he basically plays almost like, you know, the same kind of character. It seems like when it comes to Dave Batista, he really tries to challenge himself. And I think that's one of the things that he really enjoyed about this role of Scott is the fact that there is, there's, there's layers to the role. There's layers to him. And like when it, when you, when you have the opening sequence and you see that he's dealt with this before, and then you see what, happens and what happened between him and his daughter you kind of go wow i mean you see that there and then of course that plays throughout the uh the entire film and speaking of that opening scene <laughs> i was going okay i'm thinking watchmen i mean it's hard it's gonna be super hard to uh top the watchmen opening sequence i don't think i mean I hope eventually he tops it. Uh, this one didn't, but it's close. It's up there with an opening sequence. When you see the shit go down, the song choice, even the font, the font for the uh, opening titles, and the fact that you see Zack Snyder, Zack Snyder. I'm like, yes, man, this is his fucking baby. It's his baby. He was behind the camera. He was holding that thing. He had that thing on his shoulder, which I think there's a lot of, there, you know, when it comes to smooth shots like pans and uh you know maybe some crane shots there's not like a, a ton of those like i said it's very raw that's what that dream lens and the fact that it was like okay he's gonna have to like adjust that focus a lot i mean we saw that in the nightmare sequence with joker where it just seemed like it was just very raw there's something very raw to it it just adds an aesthetic and i really appreciate that kind of filmmaking from him. then you get those beautiful shots that he is known for those big huge like epic cinematic shots. You get those too. And it's absolutely fantastic. But no, going back to the, the cast. Yeah. The cast did great. Uh, I'm in love with what's her name. The blonde. <laughs> I mean, I'm also in love with Samantha Wynn. You know, she's also like, she's just a badass. chambers. I forgot what the, the other girl was called. I'm totally drawing a blank on her name. Nora. Or is that her real name? I don't know. But uh, you kind of just go, wow. Wow. Um, just badass girls. And then yeah, you call, you almost kind of, you almost kind of crush on Tig a little bit because she's just so out there and uh, ridiculous, you know, and everything. So, yeah, when it comes to Dave Bautista, though, I thought he did. I thought he led the team pretty great. And then, of course, you have Amari uh, Hardwick. And then, see, I'm still blanking on some of the names. The German dude. <laughs> I would love to see a spinoff of those two because they had excellent chemistry. I mean, talk about polar opposites of each other, but they develop like this kind of like friendship throughout and uh it really just works out i mean it's so much that there's something that happens in the movie where you go oh well shit see they're brothers and he just ah my god so good and um yeah it's just uh and it's just so good when it when it comes to that and like i said I mean, amari uh hardwick i thought he was probably the champion of the of the of the movie because there's just he just did a lot of just i don't know that just really really probably liked his character well besides dave batista i think i liked his character the most um then of course he yeah, had the yeah whew. um anyways uh and then of course um yeah all the other characters got the daughter and then of course you got uh what's her name uh see i know i, I should have pulled up the list i'm just kind of just going hey let's just do a review before the vodka stream here and you see i'm wearing the vodka stream shirt which you can uh, purchase down below if you wanted to. But no, I think uh, just overall, like if you want a good time, a good original zombie flick, you know, add something fresh to it when it comes to the zombies. I mean, you really go, okay, because the whole time I'm watching, I'm trying to figure out like what is exactly happening. And of course, the opening scene, and some people have already seen it who haven't seen the whole movie, you kind of get a sense of, okay, yeah, there is something that has to do with Area 51. Even the Snyders have talked about it. And, um, yeah, you have a, but I'm like trying to find any little things. I mean, and then of course, when it comes to a Zack Snyder film, I'm looking for Easter eggs as well. I'm going, is there, and I'm sure there was Easter eggs all throughout, and I'm going to have to watch it again and really just take my focus off the initial story and just look at everything around. There's one I saw, <laughs> one Easter egg I saw, and it was brilliant. Brilliant. It was so brilliant. I loved it. One big Easter egg that you see. And I was like, that's awesome. I really love that. So anyways, uh, then you got that. And then, of course, uh, when it comes to the end, and you could tell, like, yeah, there's a bigger universe that's, that this is, like, the first chapter. There's going to be a bigger universe that you see is being developed, and you're kind of going, oh, shit. And the way that it ends, you go, well, there you go. That's a good way to end it. It's just like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how you would 
end this zombie uh, craziness. And like I said, the action is crazy. The gore is insane. There's some things that happen where you just, the movie theater went, oh my God, you know? Man, there's one in particular where, poof, you do not really, I mean, you don't expect it. And when it happens, you go, oh my God, oh my God. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. And then, like I said, my spoiler review, I'll talk a little bit more because there are some little surprises where you went, wait a minute. What the, what the fuck? Like, you're just, you're, you're I, there's, I, I was like, wait a minute. What, what was that? And, you know, that's just what he's doing. He's setting it up. He's setting it up. And that's what's pretty great. Anyways, guys. So, like I said, enjoyed the shit out of it. Loved it. Uh, just a good time. And I can't wait to watch it again. I, you know, I'm, I was like contemplating just like, I just want to like go see it again this weekend. But I don't know if that's going to happen, but we'll see. But, uh, you know, I could wait to watch it in the comfort of my own home next week. But uh, yeah, man, just good stuff. And uh, I highly suggest going to watch it. You'll have a good time. If you're a little squirmy with gore, though, just saying. It's definitely not for the faint of heart because a couple of times you're like, oh, but you know, it's done. It's done very well. And uh, anyways, guys, uh, that's my review of Army of the Dead. Like I said, I'll do a spoiler review soon. So look forward to that. Let me know your thoughts about it down below. If you saw the movie, hit that like thumbs up. If you'd be so kind, hit that like, thumbs up, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm doing this stuff. Uh, if you want to become a member, when I do like, you know, I do members only uh, behind the scenes videos. If you want to check that out, do that. Hit the members or hit the join button. Or if you want to become part of the Patreon, I kind of let, you know, those guys know ahead of time of what I'm working on or guests or anything like that. Um, so go ahead and do that. It really helps out the pirate ship. And then, of course, merchandise like this shirt down below. All right, guys. Talk to you later.